We deal with this frigid air. Mm -hmm. Everybody's feeling the pain yeah. tonight. This drop in temperature, though, can be really the most dangerous for our neighbors on the streets. Our Evan Koslov spoke with people experiencing homelessness, and he joins us live at Union Station tonight. And Evan, advocates are pretty worried tonight, as I can imagine. Right, and what has them most worried is that rapid change. I mean, think about it. We woke up this morning and we were in the 40s. It wasn't that bad. Now, right now, where I am here at Union Station, we're in the teens, and on top of that, we've got the wind. You might be able to, yeah, hear the flags above me rattling, and you can probably see them as well here. The American flag is really uncomfortable right here, and that's why people are so worried about the homeless, and advocates are here to help, including DC DHS. So let's start there, talking about what they're doing to help. Our internal outreach team and our contracted outreach teams have been on the ground since yesterday and all day today. But we have, as a mandate, but also by our values, the DC values, that anyone who needs a shelter bed tonight, we are ready to prepare um, to offer a bed. Two eggs or eggs here. And DHS is not alone in helping those in need. At the Central Union Mission in downtown DC, they were giving out jackets to those in need. Oh, it's a blessing, man. You know, I came here with nothing, man, and everything I got is a blessing. They also offer hot meals and a place to sleep at night. I've had to sleep out in the streets. It gets rough. John Lacey opened up to us, saying he's been battling alcoholism for years, which has landed him in and out of homelessness. I have struggles, um, a lot of struggles, and um, it's only by the grace of God that uh, there are places like this, like the Central Union Mission, that can come and find refuge. It's cold. Reverend Ron Staley oversees the men's ministry here at the Central Union Mission and says it's important that we reach out and help those who need it on these frigid nights. You don't want to see a person on the street suffering like that and just think it's okay. It's not okay. I mean, you know, my belief is man's creating the image and likeness of God. Therefore, he has inherent dignity. Because of that, he needs to be treated a certain kind of way. Yeah, today's scary. Adam Rocap, the deputy director of Miriam's Kitchen, says they're worried about the loss of life on a night like this. Earlier this week, they had a vigil for the over 70 people who have died while living on the streets. We've been working hard to get the word out to make sure that people know what's coming and help them be prepared. But, you know, we're just we're worried a lot about the folks that we see every day. Okay, now the city does have warming centers and there was a bit of a snafu. They had on their website some old information, some shelters that are no longer there and some news agencies, including us, put it on our website that led to some confusion. So we asked DC DHS what exactly happened there. A spokesperson from the mayor actually confirmed and said and owned up to it, said, yeah, that they did have some old information. But now if you go to that website, it should all be fixed, so they should have accurate information up on their website now. But again, the current situation, as we set in here, we're in the teens, it is very windy and very unsafe, so it's important that everybody try to get inside for the evening. Leslie? True, and I'm, I'm glad that, that the city owned up to having that information Absolutely. that needed to be updated because what's most important is that people who need the resources can get there and actually yeah. get the help they need. So. Get a warm place to stay tonight. Absolutely, thank you.